Hello everyone, today we are visiting Lake Sevan and Captain Hako is driving us through the beautiful Armenian landscapes. Lake Sevan is the biggest lake in Armenia. However, the weather here is usually not so good. It is quite cold today, even though it's September, it's only 15 degrees Celsius. And the water is obviously very cold as well. So even though it's a very nice lake and it's nice to sit by the beach, maybe in summer, it's not so suitable most of the year for a holiday. There are multiple resorts around the lake, so you can stay here. This beach is quite beautiful though, and the water is really clear. The weather today is very changeable, sometimes it's raining and it's a little bit sunny again for some time, so it's not so easy to uh, make videos today. So Jordi has this habit of zooming in on all the maps wherever we go, and he came across this train. And you guessed it right, we are here to take a closer look at the train. The fun fact is that there is no train station nearby, there is no uh, railroad, so how this um, train appeared here is a mystery. And as you can see, there are no people around, we couldn't find any local person to ask, so we don't have much information about uh, this train. What we can see from the writings on top, this used to be a sleeping wagon, but from what train, uh, from where and why, um, no information.
We're driving now to the north of Lake Savan as we want to drone there as well. We were really lucky with the weather in the late afternoon as it cleared up and it's very nice for some drone videos. We are back in Yerevan and uh, we are eating today in La Fash restaurant, which is probably the best restaurant in Armenia. We've eaten here before and we were always super happy with the food. You can see how they make fresh lavash here. That's probably why it's called lavash the restaurant. And uh, the bread is very nice as well. <laughs> this is how the menu looks like in lavash restaurant. The uh, prices are not the cheapest for Armenia because it's kind of an upscale restaurant. You have a lot of choice though, you can choose uh, soups, main dishes, you have all kinds of meats and uh, kind of vegetarian also. So you can really choose anything, but yeah, as you can see, for example, lamb loin barbecue, it's 4,500 drum, that's about 11 euros, so it's not so cheap for Armenia, but it, it's really nice food and they also have some really nice desserts. There is a very nice outdoor seating area as well. Even though it's outdoor, it's also covered, so we will not get wet if it's raining. So the first dish is a salad and I ordered a lemonade. Hako just ordered water and she's in low battery mode. So more food arrived. This is tolma. Um, differently from some other countries, this one has meat inside instead of rice. So it's not vegetarian, but it's very nice as well. 
And this is a mixed barbecue platter with chicken barbecue and pork barbecue. We are finishing this episode with this very nice food. Thank you for watching and there will be more episodes coming from Armenia. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.